Hi, peaceful activists and warriors and friends out there who are making this journey with me through the book Peace, Love, Action, Everyday Acts of Goodness from A to Z by Tanya Zabinski. The letter we're on today is B, and B is for breathe. Just love the artwork in this book. <clears throat> Tick Nhat Han was born in Vietnam. When he was 16, he became a Buddhist monk, making a promise to become peaceful, happy, and calm, and to be kind and loving toward all living things. He learned how to meditate and concentrate. As he grew older, he discovered a way to breathe so he could stay calm and loving even in very difficult situations. When we are aware of our breathing, we get in touch with ourselves and how we are feeling. Try it. Feel the sensation of the air coming in and out of your nose. Put your hand on your belly. Feel how it rises and expands as you breathe in and falls as you breathe out. Breathing calmly and mindfully, we become fully present, fully alive. When Thich Nhat Hanh was 20 years old, there was a war in Vietnam. He and his friends had a choice, remain in their monasteries practicing meditation or help people suffering from the devastation of the war. Thich Nhat Hanh chose to do both. He and his friends trained thousands of young students in practical skills like farming, building, and medicine so they could go out and help rebuild villages destroyed by the bombs. He taught the students how mindful breathing could help them stay brave and compassionate in dangerous situations. Thich Nhat Hanh also took part in international peace talks to end the war. He established peaceful communities where people of all ages can go to learn the art of mindful living. He realized there are wars, not only because humans have a lot of bombs and weapons, but because we have a lot of fear, anger, and hatred. But if we know how to breathe gently and release stress and tension in our body, we can practice compassion toward our feelings of fear, anger, and hatred, and we can meet them with kindness. We can also practice compassion toward others. In this way, we learn to live in peace. Thich Nhat Hanh has written more than a hundred books on meditation, mindfulness, and peace. He's also trained many young monks and nuns to continue teaching mindfulness so that more people can learn how to practice peace and how to create a world without war. What can you do? When you breathe in and breathe out, can you feel your breath moving through your body, from your nose, down your throat, into your chest, and then into your lungs? Can you feel how your breath affects your whole body, your shoulders, your stomach and even your hands and feet. Let yourself feel peaceful and relaxed as you breathe naturally. Just by breathing mindfully, you are building peace. In difficult moments, pay attention to how your breathing changes. Do you ever hold your breath? Enjoy letting it go. Next time you feel nervous or anxious, whether it's taking a test or giving an oral report, being up at bat or performing. Pay attention to your breath. Is it shallow? As you allow it to deepen, observe it and see if you feel calmer. Did you know all living things breathe? No matter what our beliefs or our politics are, we all have an in-breath and an out-breath. And we can be aware of that and let that unify us. We can let this awareness nourish us throughout the day. B is for breathe. 
I hope this brought some peace to your day today. Thanks for joining me.